Morning guys. Well, we started off today in incompetent mode. <laughs> I uh, dropped my little Osmo Pocket 2 in the, the river. Fell out of my pocket, my top pocket. Uh, lesson learned. First five minutes, I've trashed my first uh, bit of the cotton of course today. And, uh, <sighs> there it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, my dead cat is very very wet. Um, so because it's fresh water, I'm not panicking too much. Just to make sure I'm not going to turn it on. So that's the uh, extension to the pocket two. The mic, uh, a lot of water came out of that when I was flicking it around. So um, I'm not going to do anything stupid by putting it on rice. What I'm going to do is I will, when I get back to the motorhome later on today, is I'll put it on the, uh, the dash and just let that dry out naturally. My Hold it there, it's all uh, full of water, so that's going to take a wee while to dry out. And uh, the gimbal, when I was cleaning it, I accidentally hit the power button, it turned on, and it seemed to be alright. Um, but <laughs> I put it on the camera bag and went to get a cleaning bag, and I knocked it off and went back in the water again. So. Uh, I definitely won't turn it on this time. Um, we'll just make sure that she's all uh, dried out really, really well before we uh, hit that power button again. Hopefully she'll come back to life. If not, uh, she'll be uh, a bit of an insurance claim. around the right way. So I knew to say a wedding recently and uh, it went really well. Uh, I was quite pleased to surprise how uh, clear it was and uh, picked up a lot of good features and details so I was really hoping to, to use this today but uh, not to be. Never mind, we, we, we move on. So uh, We'll carry on with our little venture and we'll probably have to use this uh, ZV-1. Not as versatile as uh, the Pocket 2, but who knows, it might fire up again. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, one thing I'm going to do too is make sure I put the Osmo in so that the power button is not exposed uh, so it doesn't turn itself off during the course of the day. I will find a spot up the river that's um, Got a wee bit of sunshine on it and I'll put it in the sunshine just to help dry it out quicker and uh, hopefully we'll get some more footage. Actually while we're here I'll just give the um, camera a quick panorama of um, where we are and, and where I dropped the camera and why I dropped the camera. Uh, so I'm just going to take you off the tripod. Here we go. Yeah, I just come under this tree. So um through here. There's a bit of a deep pool over there. Um I've got that up my knees. I'm wearing waders, so um I'm just getting to get into this tree a bit. But uh and this wheels, this tree, I've got a great big fucking cracker eye up here. So that's where we're going to go up. We're going to go up. It's probably going to be about two hours late before we get to the area where we're going to get to. Uh, but that's alright. That's what we're here for. So, uh, 
Do you know how I said I'd take this out of uh, I dropped it in the water and I was going to put it into storage and I showed you me putting it in the case and telling you about putting the bond battery down that way so you don't accidentally turn it on. So I just pulled it out of the case and I thought I'd put it in some sunshine to help dry it out. And it was on. It, that um, on button actually just turned itself off. So what's going on? Uh, the SD card, uh, it said it was initialising the SD card. I, I turned it off, turned it back on. And it was initialising the SD card, and I thought, well, hang on. Turned it back off again, pulled the SD card out, covered it in water, banged it uh, a few times, uh, like this, to get more water out. See, I've still got water coming out on my hand. Um, I'm, I'm sort of gently kind of cradling the, the gimbal. Yeah, still water coming out. Um, and the SD card was covered in water. I think it's still going, and it was reading the SD card. So, kind of impressed, kind of a bit worried. Um, <laughs> proof to be in the pudding. Uh, I'm really suffering with not having the external uh, wireless mic. I've got to bring my other mic. I wasn't too panicking about it because I thought oh, I've got the GoPro uh, wireless mic. Always good to have a backup of the backup with a backup. Uh, I'm using this with the uh, Sony ZV-1. Uh, there it is. This to show you where I've been and um, what I photographed for that day and also I'll put a link up to a video that I did about four months later um, and the Pocket 2 was going fine so um, check that out as well. Thanks for watching.